As the Russia-Ukraine war enters its eighth month, the former is looking for supplies to fill its depleted arsenal. To fill the gap, Iran has reportedly entered the fray and is expected to deliver short-range ballistic missiles viz. Theta 110 and its advanced versions such as Zalfagar to Kremlin, per report by The Washington Post. The report quoted U.S. and Allied security officials as its source, and added that not only will Iran be sending the missiles, but it will also be delivering attack drones. While the report claims that Russia will be receiving the secret delivery, Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahi a couple of days ago made it clear that it will not be sending any weapons. We believe that the arming of each side of the crisis will prolong the war. We have not considered and do not consider war to be the right path either in Ukraine or in Afghanistan, Syria and Yemen," said Amir Abdullahian. We have defense cooperation with Russia, but our policy regarding the war in Ukraine is not sending weapons to the conflicting parties, but stopping the war and ending the displacement of people. What is FATA missile? Fatir Fata 110 missile is a road mobile, solid propellant, short-range ballistic missile that weighs almost 3,450 kilograms. It is known for its extreme precision and has a range of 300 kilometers, which makes it all the more suitable for Russian operations. Some reports state that the missile is a modified version of the unguided Zeltsil 2, but with better control and guidance systems. The FATA missile has two variants, designated FATA-2, A11A, and FATA-3, A110B. Iran reportedly started developing the missile in 1995. However, the first flight took place six years later in 2001. A year later, the missile entered into production and reached operating capability in 2004. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard successfully tested the missile in 2007, and according to some rumors, it is capable of carrying a nuclear warhead as well. Iran has used the missile in its military operations since 2017, targeting Iraq on multiple occasions. Meanwhile, FATA 110 and Zalfagar are surface ballistic missiles to Iran's short-range surface, capable of striking targets at distances between 300 km and 700 km, 186, and 435 miles. Iranian diplomats rejected Western official statement that such transfers violated UN Security Council 2015 resolutions. Where they are used is not a problem for sellers. We are impartial in the Ukraine crisis like the West. We want to end the crisis through diplomatic means, the diplomats said. Previously Ukraine had reported a spate of Russian attacks using Iranian-made Shad 136 drones in recent weeks. Iran's foreign ministry on Tuesday dismissed baseless reports about Iran supplying drones and other weapons to Russia for use in Ukraine, while the Kremlin on Tuesday denied its troops had used Iranian drones to attack Ukraine. Asked if Russia had used Iranian drones in its campaign in Ukraine, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the Kremlin had no information about its use. Russian equipment with Russian nomenclatures is used. All further questions must be directed to the Ministry of Defense, Peskov said. Separately, Rahim Safavi, a military advisor to Iran's supreme leader, was reported by state media on Tuesday that 22 countries wanted to buy Iranian drones.
they, Russia, wanted to buy hundreds of our missiles, even medium-range missiles, but we told them we could immediately ship several hundred Salfager and Fata 110 short-range missiles, from surface to surface, said a security officer. I can't give you the right time, but soon, soon they will be delivered in two to three shipments. Moscow specifically requested the short-range missiles Fata 110 and Zalfager surface-to-surface, and deliveries will be made within a maximum of 10 days, another Iranian diplomat said. To note, Tehran has rejected President Vladimir Putin's request to supply Iran's advanced Arash 2 long-range attack drones last September, three Iranian officials told Reuters. When asked the reason for his refusal, one of the officials mentioned several issues including some technical issues. Also the Guard commander, revolutionary, is concerned that if Russia uses this Arash-2 drone in Ukraine, Americans may have access to our technology, the official said. 